Yeah, KJ, um, you've experienced a lot at Arkansas, you know, even though it's your, your first year as a starter. What would, you know, getting a win Saturday and becoming bowl eligible mean to you personally? It means a lot because uh, since I've been here, I've never been to a bowl and got the chance to experience um, what going to a bowl is like, all the fun activities that you do leading up to going to the bowl. So I never experienced that, and it just uh, creating a great atmosphere here for us to uh, scribe and go on and run and uh, get bowl eligible. And then outside of trailing, you know, who's a guy or two you look to have a, a big impact in the passing game and, and make some big plays in this, you know, these last four games? Uh, all of my guys, basically, I mean, Timo, um, Warren, uh, the tight ends, Kern, Hudson, Trey Knox, uh, the backs, um, getting out in the backfield, in the flats, controlling the flats, catching the ball out the, out the backfield. So all of my guys, they'll, they'll, they'll play a big role. Are you confident Warren Thompson will bounce back from – you know, the, the few drops he had against UAPB? Oh, yes, sir. Most definitely. I mean, that's, that's the main thing, just getting his confidence back up. Uh, he's had an extremely great uh, two practices that we had. He's caught uh, well, stayed out there, caught some balls, jug machine, all that. So I'm not not worried about uh, him just, like, down himself or nothing like that. Trey? Yeah, Miles, I was curious about, um, you know, you, you've been through some injury situation and stuff and just now seem to be getting – in your groove, how, how tough has that been on you to to kind of go through what you've been through with the injuries and, and what all were you dealing with? I mean, it's been tough, um, you know, just having to get treatment and everything. But, like, I think I thought of it like a minor setback, you know. It's not something I just always just – I can't just get down on myself. Like, I have to look past it. And, you know, I've always seemed to um, look past and get through it by, like, mentally being focused with football. So if I'm not on the field physically, I can mentally be there with my teammates, so. KJ, with the stretch that you had with uh, with Ole Miss playing all those snaps and then, you know, playing all those snaps against Auburn and stuff, were, were you starting to feel any any bit of fatigue or anything or or maybe the knee, you know, bothering you uh, at all? I did have a little, little, if, little, little problem with my knee, but I mean, when I'm out there and I'm just going, I'm just totally locked in, zoned into the game and playing each play. Uh, and just that's just my thing. I don't think about I'm, I'm tired or nothing like that. Just play the next play, make sure I get the ball out of my hands or run the SQ to play at a higher level. And Coach Pittman has said that, uh, I mean, he said it for a while that there wants to be a, more of a focus to getting Dominic Johnson the ball more. Uh, what are your thoughts on on the the performances that he's had so far and, and without a whole lot of opportunities and just the, the idea of getting him the ball more? Extremely proud of him. Uh, he's worked his tail off since he got here. Uh, had an extremely great fall camp, spring ball as well. Um, just coming in, and he just, I mean, he knows his role. He uh, executed at a high level, and when he get in, he just take advantage of his opportunity. That's the main thing, just coming in. When your opportunity presents itself, you got to be able to perform, and that's what he does. Tom. Miles, you guys had a good game plan against the Air Raid last year. What, what are the important parts to defend this type of offense? Uh, everybody just doing the assignments. Um, I think Coach came in with a good game plan for us this week. So as long as we do what he he's telling us to do and do it at a good pace, you know, running to the ball and everything, making sure we're tackling, getting the fundamentals down, I think everything will take care of us, do its part during the game. Okay. And to the both of you, um, they're ahead of you guys in the standings in the SEC West. So I'm wondering um, how important, KJ, is this game for you guys to kind of get back on track and make a move in the in the division? I mean, for us, we don't look at, like, statistics and all that. I mean, we just look at this next game on the schedule, and uh, we're trying to go on this run. And they're uh, the next guy, next opponent up, so we're just trying to just dominate uh, and just focus on ourselves, basically, and just uh, execute on uh, at a high level. And Miles, what do you think about that? You know, trying to trying to get going here these last four games. Uh, we're just trying to take it one game at a time. So um, we just focused on our opponent this weekend, Mississippi State, and then after that, we'll we'll move on. Uh, KJ, I'm sorry. Did we ask you? That, did Mississippi State offer you? What, what was that like with those guys? Uh, they did offer me. Uh, the head coach was uh, Joe Moorhead. He was there uh, when I when I was being recruited, and they did offer me. What do you think of their offense? I haven't watched the offense much. I mean, I watched a couple of uh, games of their, high, uh, of their offense, and it's pretty – I mean, it's air raid. I mean, that's what you uh, – every quarterback dreams of being an air raid offense. I mean, you get to throw the ball like a thousand times a game. So, I mean, it's, it's what every quarterback dreams of. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool the uh, type of route that they run and 
how you uh, watch, spread the defense out and attack uh, different holes in defense. So it's pretty cool. All right. My last question, Miles, what do you think of their their quarterback, Rodgers? What, what makes him a good QB? I think he's uh he's good. He's good at um looking like looking off uh the DBs and everything. I just feel like as long as we do our job, everything will take care of his place, you know, do his part. All right, Nate. Miles, just for since Catalan got hurt, what's been the biggest adjustment for you, not only as a player, but having to be kind of the quarterback of the defense? Um, I say being more vocal. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a, it was a tough task at first, being more vocal, but it's I've slowly got into the groove of it. So just being more vocal, that's it, pretty much. Also, with all their short passing, do they ever kind of lull you to sleep and try and hit you with a deep one when you don't expect it? Um, yeah, they could do that, but um, we'll see this Saturday, really. So, Hutch? Yeah, Miles, what's the mindset of a defensive back whenever you're going against an air raid you know, offense like this where they're going to throw it a thousand times in a game? Is, do you get a little bit more excited facing a, a, a team like that? Yes, it's definitely more exciting. Um, just making plays. That's all we have to do is just make plays. And then, But it's definitely exciting knowing the ball is going to be in the air more often than other games. So, yes. And how much have you leaned on, you know, Catalan since, you know, maybe since he got hurt or even before that, you know, learning from him uh, early on in the season? How, how much has he helped you? Uh, he's helped me a lot. You know, he's um, he's an older guy. I've always looked to him for guidance whenever I needed help in something on the field. So he's definitely like a, he gives me, he talks in my ear a lot, just telling me stay, stay focused. Don't let it get down on certain plays, you know. So he's been a, he's been a lot of help. Um, uh, hey KJ, what's what, what kind of season do you or what, what have you thought of, of, of Traylon Burke's season so far? And he seems like a guy you just throw it up there, and most time he's going to come down with it. Kind of what's your thought process on that when he's in there? Uh, like I said, like I always said, I mean Traylon just he's just a freak of nature. I mean he's a, good, a great athlete. Um, his catch radius is crazy. Uh, just just knowing that I have a guy like that on my team where. I know I can count on him and he can count on me uh, to put the ball in the right spot. Well, even if it's not in the right spot, I know he'll come down with the ball 90% of the time. So, I mean, just knowing that that I have a guy like that on my team and I can just be able to get him the ball in space and let him make plays. And, and then, you know, he's – I think everybody views him as a high draft pick, but he doesn't seem like he, you know, coast coasts at all. Like he's always doing the right thing, always going all out. Maybe what, what, what do both of you think about his, his uh, approach? I mean, his approach, I mean, I've known Trey. I mean, we came in together and stayed together and all that. So I know Trey as a person, and Trey, he's just humble. I mean, he he lived in the, he embraced the moment. He don't try to look look ahead or look for the future. No, he's just living in the moment, embracing the moment. And, I mean, he's just living in the moment and just playing with us, the racebacks. I mean, that's all he talk about is racebacks. I mean, we might mention the lead like on down the road, but as far as I know, it's just racebacks right now. Miles, you got a thought on that? Uh, he's definitely one of the best receivers I've, I've seen before. So, uh, he just he's he's real humble. That's one thing about him. Uh, he does, he's not gonna get too high, too low. He's gonna be himself at all times. So I just got one more. I'm sure as players, you guys don't look at it this way, but I think maybe you know the schedule comes out and fans immediately see Mississippi State and they're picked, you know, maybe last in the division or sixth or something. And then you, you look up and they just beat Kentucky by two touchdowns. They went to AM and won. They beat NC State when, when NC State had. Uh, you know, has been ranked. I mean, just it just doesn't seem like you get any kind of break in this division. What, what's it like? There just doesn't seem to be any any games, you know, you, you can look to that aren't going to be really, really tough. Um, my, my father, will you repeat the question again? Yeah, well, like I say, I think, I don't know you guys as players don't get this way, but I think uh, fans immediately tend to look at Mississippi State and think, well, they're not Alabama, they're not Auburn, they're not LSU. So they'll be a little easier. And yet they just beat Kentucky, you know, ranked team. Uh, they beat, uh, they won at A&M, which Alabama couldn't do. <laughs> they beat NC State when NC State, I think, had beaten Clemson. Just, mm -hmm. it just doesn't seem like you ever get a break in this division. Kind of what, what's that like? I mean, they're just no, no gimmies, you know? Yeah, just every game you had to come prepared. I mean, this is the SEC. Uh, you can't look past nobody in this conference. So just every game, you got to be on top of your, on, on your A game or, you know, 
like it won't go the outcome won't come out as you want it to be. But as far as I feel like we're in a good position right now to handle this this weekend. You got to find that KJ just never, never gets I mean, it. I mean, Miles, Miles hit it right on the head. I mean, this SEC, you got to bring your A game each and every game. I mean, no matter who your opponent is, I mean, you just got to execute at a high level and just focus on, I mean, just focus on, you know what I'm saying, the task at hand. I mean, no, you know what I'm saying, count each uh, another opponent out or none of that. So you just got to come in each and every week, practice hard, preparation, all that matters uh, going into the week. Okay, th thanks, guys. Trey, the final question, please. Well, actually, I had two kind of random ones, but one uh, was uh, – for KJ, uh, coming in from Mississippi, you are one of only two scholarship players on the roster from Mississippi. I mean, that's a state that produces a lot of talent. Are you surprised by that at all when you when you got here? That there's just not a lot of Mississippi guys on the roster. I mean, I was I was a little bit when I first got I was I was I was a little shocked. I mean, because I mean, but just knowing that I mean, we have a lot of talent come out of Mississippi, but it's it's kind of hard because like we're not one of those big states. So like we're not like a Texas or one of those big states that have a lot, a huge amount of guys come out. So I mean, people kind of overlook Mississippi, but I mean we does have talent, talent coming out of Mississippi. So it kind of shocked me, caught me off guard a little bit, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, if you thought that was random, wait for this one, Miles. So I've been covering this team for 18 years, and I don't think I've covered a single player named Miles. But there's you, and then last year there was Miles Mason, and then there was a safety commit named Miles also. All safeties named Miles. I was wondering, is there something somebody 20 years ago named Miles that was real popular? Or where, where did your name come from? Um, my mother named me. I don't know where she got it from, though. <laughs> I, I'll ask her tonight, though. Okay. <laughs> hit, me, hit me up on Twitter. We're back and better than ever. A new web interface to start the basketball season and more props, odds, and lines than ever before. Bet Online remains your number one spot for all basketball and football action this season. Head to the new updated desktop or mobile website to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Just use our promo code BELIEVE50 to receive your bonus. That's B L E. EAV50 to receive your bonus. From basketball, football, and baseball postseason, NHL, boxing, and UFC, right to your favorite Vegas casino games, don't wait to take advantage of all the amazing offers available for the 2021 season. Bet Online is the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports. Bet Online, where the game starts. 